<laughs> All right, what's going on everybody? It's Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is I'm here just recording another how to cop I'm recording this one a little bit late and I know and I'm sorry for that because I know this release is coming tomorrow And it you know pretty much at like 9 a.m. 9 30 um, I mean it's dropping officially at 10 a.m. Eastern time, but the, you know pretty much starts loading at like 9 30 So I am a little bit late to be discussing this one But I hope you guys will still enjoy because I'll give you my best advice right here on some places where this one will be dropping still Or you could go enter so I hope you guys will enjoy if you want more content like this just feel free to go ahead and subscribe below and also drop a like on this video for more content like this goals like 200 likes so if we could hit that i'd appreciate it you know that's it's nothing really crazy but if you want to uh drop a like it'd make my day and yeah also drop a comment to any questions anything you got leave it down below but that's all i gotta say let's get into this guessing how you guys can cop the yeezy 700 sun not really my favorite yeezy 700 interesting but it'll resell so let's get into it all right so as you guys can see i am here with the screen recording my classic saying so if you want to check my IGs down below, which I, they're just really down there in the description. You can go give me a follow if you want. And yeah, you know, I, I really am not like, I mean, I'm somewhat active on Instagram. I just don't post. But uh, aside from that, let's really just get into discussing these shoes because my Instagrams are not important. So let's just get into discussing these. So the Yeezy 700 Sun, my personal opinion on these, let's just kind of look at all sizes right now, kind of what they're selling on on StockX. You see 275 sales, kind of average right now. You see they're selling around 380. I mean, I think right now you kind of go look at this full range. We're going to kind of ignore it up to size of, you know, 7.5 watt because those sizes are you know kind of different ones um but if you look at the general range i mean it's like right now they're kind of like 380 to 450 but my personal opinion is once these drop i mean even though you have a bunch of sales at 380 450 i'm thinking these ones once they drop i'm thinking they will probably resell around 280 to 330 that's my just my personal estimation i think there'll be a good amount of pairs there could be maybe some sizes going above 400 maybe some of those smaller ones like those base sizes four through seven or maybe bigger sizes like 11 and a half 12 those kinds of sizes may be going for more but my personal opinion is just you know it'll be resell for a lot it's definitely worth the money at a retail of 240 dollars that's definitely one of the reasons why uh, resale has been pushed up too i mean i don't think it'll resell at 280 i think that's like the lowest it could possibly go but i don't re realistically see it going there i mean i think it'll probably be all pairs above 300 dollars at least i mean that's just an easy guess because i don't think they're going to be dropping many pairs of this one and my personal opinion on these the colors that they chose yellow orange like a i don't even know what kind of blue it is it's kind of like a darker blue it's interesting they're kind of like a blue greenish but i mean it's all right it's nothing crazy so my just opinion on that that's what i think they'll resell for so it is definitely worth it to go for so please do go for them when they drop tomorrow on yeezy supply mainly that's the main place in the first place i want to discuss on how to cop these so let's kind of hop right into that because it's one of the most important places so as you guys can see on yeezy supply just go literally you look up yeezy supply.com i'm not going to like put it down in the description but just look up yeezy supply on google and it'll pop up with this website and you can see they're doing right now uh, they got the loading page for these ones which are dropping as you can see in 16 hours 30 minutes and it pretty much means they're going to be dropping 10 a.m eastern time tomorrow but my recommendation is to you're just gonna have to be waiting there like i'd get there like 30 minutes before so you can get into kind of like the waiting room and stuff early because they sometimes uh be dropping stuff early and you know sometimes the release is like 9 30 so that's just my kind of personal opinion is like i had success copying manually on the avas and uh, on different releases by just getting there early so just get there like 30 minutes before if it's 10 a.m eastern time get there like 9 30 maybe get there at 9 a.m just have stuff loaded and we'll kind of get into discussing again how you can maybe make multiple profiles to check out on yeezy supply so many people ask me how they can actually make an autofill or make some sort of uh you know like have something that could automatically fill out when they're checking out uh, on ec supply and there is a way to do it so how you guys can do that basically is if you go into settings you could just click chrome up here and then click preferences when it would drop down you could just click this up here chrome and then click preferences and you would take you right here to settings and it would take you to you and google first but then you could just click autofill and as you can see it allows you to autofill payment methods addresses and different things like that so if you again are running on multiple tabs and i'll explain how to do this in a second you could just make a different payment method and different address for each tab and EC supply really isn't too strict uh, to what I know about you know multiple pairs getting shipped to the same address again if you live in a road or avenue you could just abbreviate your address on one of the you know accounts you're doing uh, you know changing the address for and then that you know they wouldn't even be able to tell so instead of typing out road you just type RD you know that's a way to change your address up for one account hopefully that makes sense but I'm gonna show you guys what you would do see so, as you can see I have like the auto phone stuff set up for this one Google account right here and I'm gonna blow this stuff right here but if you go right here and see this you see you have like other uh like chrome profiles right here so what i would do basically is if i wanted to run another page on ec 
supply right now. As you can see, I just clicked and opened another Chrome profile on a different user. As you can tell, it's not really signed into any Google account, but I could actually get this user and sign it into another Google account and then, you know, autofill a bunch of information there. If I wanted to, you know, already have an email autofilled, then I could log in this one to a Google account, which I probably would recommend doing because it's just kind of like, it's best to do that because when you're logged into Google, you know, they think you're more like real and legit and also use an account that has like a more active email. That's some advice I can give right there. But literally what I would do is I would just, just type easy supply right here as you can see and boom now I got two tabs open right here and if I wanted to I could go for this tab right here for this tab I could click preferences uh, and then I can open up settings right here on this tab like I could literally just go right here Chrome preferences and boom now I got another preferences tab open right here and once you know I, again I could autofill stuff right here look more payment methods more information I could autofill on a completely separate tab and look this is two separate tabs right here so I could do this manually I can make like four different Google accounts and I could probably do this on like four or five tabs manually I'd say safely really just do it as in many as your computer can handle but also you have to watch out for running uh, on a bunch of the you know for the same drop under one home network because i don't want you guys like getting banned because that's just not something and the ban that you can get from easy supply is not permanent it's just like temporary but it just it, it does kind of suck and you know can prevent you from getting a drop so i'd recommend maybe just doing that kind of method i showed you on maybe two three four accounts i wouldn't really push it past like five ish but you know if you want to do like 10 then go ahead i've seen people do it but you may need proxies once you get past that point and there's plenty of ways you can uh you know use proxies and like add them on your computer it's really not hard to apply them but aside from that let's continue into kind of what i was going to say so that's how you would cop off vc supply now as you guys know, Adidas is also going to be dropping them uh, right here. Aside from Adidas, uh, Adidas dropping them here on their website, they're also doing something where you can go download on the Adidas app, you know, make an account right there, and you can sign up to win a pair of these. It's just like, kind of like a raffle system. So you just sign up to enter in the raffle, and then they'll let you know whether you do get the chance or not to buy the pair pretty much tomorrow. Um, and you know, like 18 hours, so pretty much tomorrow, like I think 12-ish, I think that's when it is, uh, you'll know whether you got the pair or not, or 10 a.m. ish. So just check it, 18 hours, you'll know whether you're able to buy the pair, and they'll tell you because they just have kind of have this reservation system on their app so if you're willing to pay that 240 i'd recommend it because i mean it's a lot of profit it's a lot of money so i see no reason why not to so that's kind of my recommendation there i definitely recommend copying the yeezy sun off the adidas app if you want to or just off them when they drop on yeezy supply so you can look up plenty of um, yeezy supply guides and how to cop specifically off there but that's just kind of one manual method i have but aside from that, another thing I want to show you all, some guys that can actually really help you out with copying releases just like this one that drop on places like Easy Supply because these guys are really good at cooking releases that drop on different foot sites and places just like this, Shopify site specifically. So I want to give a huge shout out to my boys at the Secret Sauce Cook Group because these guys can help you cook a release just like this EC700 Sun release. So what they do is they provide insider info like links and different raffle links that are also really useful. Um, like the links that would be specifically like early ones for like certain websites like Kif and different, and different places like that where shoes could be dropping so that's a very useful thing but also they can provide like a bunch of links for raffles to really show you where a shoe could be dropping like every place where it could be possibly dropping which is a really great tip and i love that and the slots and monitors are the two things i want to mention too because the monitors and their discord are really good and they can help you know you know like a, a manual user you know really check out an item quickly and just add to cart it's great but also the slot system and their discord is the main thing i want to discuss because this is how these guys can actually cop releases for you and really how it would work is once you got into the discord you know it is 60 dollars monthly uh for the you know to get into the discord but it's 100 worth it because you can make the feedback like that i've had so many people telling me in my comments lately yo tristan like thank you for the secret sauce hookup i've been making money like that it's not that hard you know they these guys can really help you out one-on-one -on -one stuff all that but uh how the slots would work is basically once you get into the discord these guys there was a certain release that you wanted coming up like they like said the easy 700 sun release uh you could hit them up like a couple days before it or the night of there's they have like a ticket system you could be like yo you guys are running tickets for this release and if they're like yeah and you get the opportunity to run tickets with them that basically what they would do I'm gonna stop repeating that word first. I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, but what they do is they would drop a form and then in that form, you would fill out your payment info and shipping info. I've done this so many times and they've caught me a ton of stuff. Just go back to any of my other how-to cops. I always told you all how much they've caught me. Mortal Kombat Arcade, multiple pairs of Yeezys, different shoes, Jordans. So huge shout out to them. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in getting into this Discord chat, cause that's really how they would cop releases just like this one for you. They take your info and all that and put it into their bots and then check out for you. So it's an awesome system and they can really help you start cooking. So if you want some professionals to do the work for you then you guys can go join this discord and how you could do it again it's not free to get into and it is exclusive they will, so they won't let everybody in but if you want to go hit up the twitter and be like yo tristan sent me how can i get into the discord then they may let you in that way that's the one way that you could get in but aside from that shout out to my boys at secret sauce these guys can really help you cop off you know yeezy supply especially because they you know are no one know what they're doing it's awesome so 
Also, I want to say there was, I'm going to leave this link down below so you guys can check this, uh, the raffle sneakers link for the Adidas CC Boost 700 sum. But I'm, I'm kind of sad that I didn't make this video earlier because if I'd made this video like a couple days earlier, then there would have been a bunch of raffles that you got, as you guys can tell, that you could have gone and entered in. I um, mean, you can go look right now. Like there were, there's a couple still on here worldwide. And I think in the US, you can still enter in when this video will be up. I think there will still be some you can enter in. But that's what I'm saying. I wish I would have gotten it earlier and, you know, gotten to this one earlier specifically to, you know, actually make something. So that would have been important and that would have been good because I would have liked something, um, you know, I would have liked to provide y'all with some raffles. And also, if you go check on the foot sites, I mean, there's nothing on foot sites about these ones dropping here. It looks like there's nothing going to be coming on Champs or Foot Lock or any of those places right there. Not really unexpected, but nothing there. And also, uh, if you go look at sneaker news, I mean, there's pretty much nothing on sneaker news. I mean, oh, excuse me, I'm stuttering. I don't know why I always do that. But if you go look right here, it says like it's dropping a Nordstrom Essence. I mean, you can go check on all these places. Like you can maybe have a sneaker news like link open and go click on these different places to see if they will drop them at like 9 a.m. or 10 a.m or like 11 a.m. some random time, usually between 9 a.m. 11 a.m. when foot sites drop, but I don't think it's dropping at any of these places other than Yeezy Supply and Adidas. So that's all I gotta say. You can definitely stay tuned to this Yeezy's link, just adidas.com slash Yeezy. They'll be dropping them there, but that's all I gotta say. That's really how you guys will be able to cop the Yeezy 700 Sun. Uh, you can check the IGs down below, but these ones are interesting. I don't like them, but they might grow on me over time, but I'm gonna end the screen recording right there. And yeah, another pair of Yeezys that's gonna be reselling in 2021. So I made the have to cop. And let's roll the outro. Anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you just want more content like this, this is just the outro portion, but I do plenty of how-to cups. Hopefully you understood what I said. Again, any questions down below, feel free to ask them. But back to what I was saying, you can subscribe and like down below for more content just like this video. The goal is 200 likes, so I'd appreciate if we could hit that goal. And that kind of make my day because you know, that's really, you know, that's the goal. And I like it, you know, if we get the goal because it motivates me to keep making more videos like this. But I'm sorry I made this one a little bit late. I wish I could made it a little bit earlier, to be honest. Uh, that would, you know, been more ideal, uh, you know, but you know, school and stuff be getting in the way sometimes, other videos that I gotta make. But uh, yeah, also, if you wanna check my Instagrams and Discord down below, there's a down in the description. You can go check them out right there. And, uh, you know, join the Discord. My free Discord also is really good down there below. Shout out to everyone that'd be helping out Hydro, Gil, Secret, all those guys. They're, you know, great. So shout out all my admins and everyone to be helping, out, helping me out there. And everything's linked down there. But I, I, want, I don't wanna really drag this outro out any longer. We'll just end it here. So I'm um, thank you all, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash.